Hi everybody, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is your weekly tarot reading. Uh, we are going to take a look at what is happening for you in the next 7 to 10 days. What is the guidance for you? What are the key themes? What you can keep in mind? Um, and of course, in a predictive sense also, what you can expect. Okay, So we have um, uh, a new moon coming up this week which is in the sign of Taurus and we're moving now into this very earthy energy. Uh, Taurus is associated with uh, you know, money, finances, all things material, all things earthy and uh, it's ruled by Venus. Um, so it's great for those aspects of life and it's also connected to your body and your health. So these are the key focus points, you could say, of this new moon and see where it falls in your chart, of course. And that is where I feel you will experience some changes or you can initiate something new. All right. So um, let's begin with the reading. We have three groups as usual, starting from the left is group one and then we have group three towards the last and uh, pick whatever is calling out to you whatever is drawing your attention if you need more time you can pause the video here i will see you in your timestamps hi group one for those of you who have chosen this particular shell here let's take a look at your reading i will first start with a few runes to see the theme okay your for your next seven to ten days Keep in mind that this is general and it is applicable to you whenever you come across this, okay? Okay, I have three runes here for you. So the first one is the rune of Gable. Then we have the rune of Nazis, okay? Then we have the rune of Ansus, alright? So this is in connection to a partnership. It's interesting that both of these symbols, rune signs are quite similar, but they are different in terms of their meaning. So Gebo is connected to um, partnerships, okay? Could be any sort of partnership, could be a romantic connection, it could be a friendship, um, but it is in relation to another. So it also talks about giving and receiving and what is it that's happening in that equation is it fair is it just okay uh, is there an equity in that partnership then we have the rune of northeast that is uh, it's kind of a rune of a standstill you could say taking into account it's what i'm sensing here for you is that you're actually reviewing you're assessing a particular partnership now this could be like i said with another person or it could also be in general you know what do i put out there and what do i actually receive in all of my relationships and all of my partnerships and those are the answers that you're seeking okay and ansus is here to tell you to trust your intuition to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that you are being shown and they will be shown to you so you are likely to get answers uh, through this process of review and assessment by paying attention to whatever is coming up for you symbolically uh, through music I receive messages through music it could be um, just some random quote that you see on Instagram it could be anything okay so pay attention to the signs because that's where your answers are likely to come from. Now let's see your Lenormand cards. Yeah, speaking of relationships, so this is the man, which is a significator. We have the whip and we have the child. Okay. Um, the first thing that I'm hearing actually is that you could be dealing with somebody who is quite childish, who is quite immature and that is your bone of contention, that is the issue in the connection, okay. The whip is a challenging card, it suggests that there is 
either a repetitive cycle that is quite challenging because it's got a repetitive action the whip or the broom uh, or it's challenging in the sense that it could lead to um, like some conflicts some arguments okay but either way it is quite challenging as a card but I like seeing the child here in the different in a different perspective also that there is a possibility of a new beginning of um, you know taking that first step towards maybe resolving this issue with this person or reaching some kind of a resolution with this person so that you can either a move on from this connection by you know letting go of it or b start a new start afresh with a beginner's mind with this person okay so relationships are really featuring for you so far you have the queen of wands yeah speaking of review <laughs> See, that's what I was getting with this. Uh, this card is what was popping in my mind when I was speaking about your runes as well. So you got the Seven of Pentacles, uh, the Magician, the Number One card, which is also about new beginnings. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is all about... Now this could be a relationship at work as well, okay? Uh, because we do have the Pentacles... Uh, cards here twice I'm sorry I'll just keep this here okay so I feel like this has to do with you know um, your sense of personal power which is at stake um, not stake in the sense that you're giving it away to somebody but i feel like I, what i'm picking up from the queen of wands this time is empowerment you know your solar plexus chakra your sense of self-esteem your sense of self-worth your confidence your ability to stand up for yourself and uh, to not put up with anything that is less than or any sort of behavior that is a threat to you in some way or it's not dignified you know it's not giving you uh, the kind of respect perhaps that you deserve okay so that is what you're reviewing what you're assessing and with the child being here along with the magician this could definitely mean a new beginning you're either uh, like I said trying to make things work in this situation with this person by um, starting afresh on a new slate of a fresh slate with this person and discussing that with them on how to collaborate how to be on the same page how do we work together or you could be deciding to take that one pentacle here and move on from the situation and manifest something new for yourself because the magician and the queen of wands to me are both talking about self-empowerment recognizing your sense of self-worth what you can create for yourself if not this i can have something better that sort of a thing okay but it is boiling down to the very tangible practical aspects of this connection is what i feel here with these pentacles so this could be a connection with a person like I said for most of you or it also could be you know an official or a um, uh, yeah an official partnership or official connection so take it as it resonates but there's a strong emphasis here on reviewing on assessing and taking stock okay taking the time the break perhaps to see uh, where this is heading is am I receiving the harvest here that I have you know invested all this effort into for or is this not gonna pay off all right so those are the kind of questions that you are pondering over 
but I really like seeing the three of pentacles here because it is suggesting to me that there is a strong possibility of being able to work things out okay in terms of career this is looking really positive I feel like you will be able to use your manifestation skills your co-creation skills and all of your tangible abilities and know-how to create something of value okay you're building something solid for yourself so congratulations let's see your other cards we have a leg up you see how this is also in a way a partnership <laughs> this is a mama bear and a baby bear then we have come to the edge number 36 we've got 34 and 36 and you have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and capricorn good um that repetitive cycle may be coming to an end and you have uh, speaking of confidence um confidence is the key to your success so really empowering week for you next seven to ten days your focus is on yourself how you want to move forward what action you want to take and in which direction who's on your side who isn't um and really this is all about working on your um i want to say also self-image you know not playing it small and somewhere you might feel this urge to take a risk to take that leap of faith and you are being told that yes be confident you are you can do this okay you are going to succeed in this if you have that faith in yourself if you have self-belief okay so i really like seeing these cards here for you the end of a tough cycle and it could definitely be in connection with somebody all right but I feel like you are going to receive some help as well. So be open to that, okay? Maybe you're someone who also considers taking help as risk, as a risk, you know. Uh, it's something that requires you to step out of your comfort zone. And it's worth it, okay? It's worth it is what I want to say. Because this support that you're likely to receive is going to help you in a very tangible way way okay so let's see your other cards here <laughs> wow i like how these cards just um they just add on to the existing message you have the magician and the mirror and this is the second time you have the magician in your reading then you have appreciation number 15 so both of these cards are actually working really well together because this is boiling down to you know what you put out is what you are likely to receive and it is your time to receive is what i'm feeling here okay uh just be careful about your mindset that is what is being focused on here emphasized here because both of these cards kind of speak about like i said you know as you sow so shall you reap and your ability to manifest all relies on your man manifest all relies on your mindset right if you can believe in yourself if you have confidence in yourself if you have a faith in your own alchemizing um skills you know that i can create something beautiful out of this situation or out of my own abilities and talents then that is the the vibration the energy the mindset that you should be in and gratitude is one of the highest vibrations you can possibly be in other than love and that is what is being emphasized here so expressing and feeling gratitude for what you already have for what you possess and trying to look at the brighter side of life which can be quite difficult in these circumstances given the pandemic and all of that um 
you know given all of that if you're able to feel that um that vibration that energy of gratitude that is what that is what's going to come back to you and that will help you manifest what it is you want okay what you want to create another message that i am getting here is you know to appreciate yourself to hold yourself in high esteem and not play it small like i said the whip can also mean that you have this tendency to perhaps be very self critical okay whipping yourself so please avoid doing that because um there is something beautiful that you're creating here that you can manifest okay and like i said in the intro this is the full moon week it's an amazing week to plant those seeds okay and they are likely to give you a good harvest in time let's see your guidance cards we have volcano volatility and rebirth wow this is one of my favorite cards in this deck so springtime is a time of new beginnings and there's something here that is ending which has been a tough cycle and now there's a rebirth a new cycle opening up in your life okay so focus on that and there could be a uh, a circumstance or a situation like i said in the beginning with these cards whereby you know you lose your temper or the other person loses their temper and you say things that are mean uh you know to each other that is just something to keep in mind and perhaps try to um maybe i mean it's not always possible but try to maybe see the good side of that person as well because we we can tend to sway too much uh to the extreme side when we're angry when we're upset so just be a little careful of that okay and yes of course plant those seeds this is an amazing time to um to create space for the new okay let's see your relationship and love oriented cards we get ask for help okay what do you really need be willing and be willing to accept support let's get one more do something for someone give your attention to another and we have get to know each other learn to meet another's need for love okay so these could mean different things to different people at the bottom of the deck we have true love so tempers could be a little um out of control that is just something to keep in mind and uh, yes I do feel like it's the right time for you to be open to, to collaborate to accept help and support from people who are coming into your life or existing already to give you the right guidance or help at the right time okay just be open to accepting that and yes um that going back to your first room the first message of a healthy give and take a healthy giving and receiving uh equation is what's coming uh into focus for you for the next 7 to 10 days okay so that's your reading group number 1 i hope this helps i hope you found it useful i'm sending you much love and do take care of yourself i'll see you again later god bless Hi group 2 for those of you who've chosen this uh shell here let's take a look at your reading i'm going to start with some runes first of all so we have the rune of isa which is the rune of ice 
then we have bacana nice and lastly we have tourists okay so I feel like uh, it's interesting because the first group had a slightly similar message all three runes together are telling me that this next seven to ten days is a time for you to sort of take a step back and be in receptive mode and to observe okay take this time to maybe either learn something it's kind of like when you're you know you're planting a, a seed you that period of you could say inaction is when all the actions taking place beneath the surface in the soil you know if that's the right analogy to give so it's that kind of period or time okay because there's something that is germinating that is taking birth that is taking place for you the bakana rune is really positive it is talking about new beginnings it's in some ways literally a birth okay a physical birth but figuratively it is talking about uh, a really beautiful time for you to um, for you to allow something to grow and create that space that womb okay um, that fertile ground for it to grow because it's a very positive room to have for a new beginning all right let's see your other cards here okay so we have the moon we have the ship wow and you have the bouquet or the flowers really nice so actually the ship is talking about a journey okay talking about travel you could be making some travel plans because uh, the moon along with the bouquet can often mean an invitation an offer of some sorts okay or some really positive um, development taking place all right with the bouquet and the moon here also you could be in the limelight in some way or you could be getting recognition for your efforts it could be in business the ship is associated with business and trade so that could be the case for some of you it's all three cards are really positive for you to have it is talking about progress okay about um, sort of like being in the right place all right um, so the bouquet could also indicate a gift of some sorts okay and with the moon like I said it could definitely mean um, an offer or an invitation and it could be from overseas as well from someone who is at a distance from you okay so really positive start there here we have judgment okay that's a biggie high priestess all right but two major arcana already wow three major arcana this is big justice and the moon oh my god this is big um all four cards that you've got are major arcanas so this is something that probably even goes beyond the seven to ten days okay the high priestess and the moon here are both very watery energies suggesting that you like i said with this you know i get the sense that like i said you are in this receptive mode and i'm not getting a negative feeling from this moon you by the way have the moon twice moon in tarot is quite different from the moon in 
uh, Lenormand but one of the meanings of uh, the moon and Lenormand could also be your psychic abilities for some of you who are in that work in that profession your psychic abilities are probably gonna hit the roof so you're going to get a lot of downloads a lot of messages and I'm getting a specific message for someone out there who is probably in this line of work who is probably a medium a channel you could be getting some messages from you know your spirit guides or passed on loved ones or ancestors as well um, someone who has passed on okay if you do that kind of channeling then it's going to be very very heightened uh, during this period okay the justice there and judgment this could be like a major life decision that you're making which has some huge consequences okay could also be a move overseas so if you've been maybe looking for that green signal you know to maybe migrate somewhere or something like that and you're involved in some legal aspects of that then that could be what is coming through what you're focusing on for these next uh, seven to ten days okay wow this is like really pretty big <laughs> energy um, it's very very karmic in the sense that it's like a payback of some sorts you could say or it's um, it's a life-changing time okay you might be kind of moving into this unknown territory uncharted waters and with the moon there you are being asked to delve deeper to take that step back like I said because um, there's something that you're even pondering over okay uh, this is a rune of uh, protection so you are being protected also I feel specially by your past on loved ones and it, they're asking you to observe very very clearly because you could be receiving a lot of downloads signs and synchronicities the high priestess is excellent at that she is the psychic the medium the mystic and there's um, something unfolding which is pretty big in your life okay and so you are being tr asked to a trust yourself trust your intuition and b trust also in um, the divine okay because this seems to be orchestrated it's a pretty big uh, change I feel judgment is the second last card uh, only to be followed by the world which is the end of a journey or completion of some sorts okay so I feel like there's a major major change happening in your life all right so um, this could like I said have something to do with uh, buying a house or some something that involves legalities or it could be that you're waiting for some kind of a judgment like actual you know court judgment and it is likely to be in your favor okay because these two cards are very positive to have all right so very interesting let's see your other cards here you've got poise number 48 and you've got a message in a bottle interesting wow so this is some really important um, information news communication coming your way but for some of you this could be entirely you know um, symbolic it could be through a sign through a synchronicity it could be through your intuition okay that you're receiving this important answer or message so really pay attention to that which is again something that the high priestess does really well and uh, <laughs> this is talking about a new beginning you are poised you are confident you are ready to take that you know to grab the reins and go forward kind of like the chariot energy this is uh, 
a new opportunity or an a new path perhaps that you're beginning to walk on okay this is pretty big is what i'm sensing so i'm quite curious let me know in the comment section how this is playing out for you but this is an amazing card to have for a new beginning again with the bakana there the the soil is fertile you could say okay for you to manifest a new start all right be bold and make the first move cardinal moon and you have you are good enough wow let's see the other cards door to personal healing and happiness number 34 and you have angel of strength wow so group number two you're really being i just want to say you know just trust yourself okay you're on the right path the decision the judgment call that you're making or whatever you are feeling called to do this could be in connection to your life purpose you may be thinking of putting yourself out there in some way do it okay you are being egged on you're being pushed to and not exactly pushed but encouraged and protected especially by your ancestors you know uh, from your your family lineage um, your passed on loved ones they are encouraging you and protecting you during this period of transition i feel okay and yes you are good enough you can do this have the confidence okay you have the confidence to uh, step on to that pedestal and you know uh, express yourself be yourself and initiate whatever it is that you're being called to initiate be bold and make the first move this is the right time um, for you to hammer down something for you to uh, bring down in a tangible way something that has probably only been in the ether for now until now okay something that you perhaps been dreaming of you know you felt called to do just have faith in your tra in yourself and trust yourself because it's leading you to some um to a lot of happiness to new opportunities coming your way a new door is opening up for you and healing is taking place okay any sort of challenges that you've had in the recent past can now be overcome you have the strength to do this and most of all i'm getting a strong sense of protection more than anything else okay um amazing look look at your guidance we have iceberg submerged and we have earth magic so that's really apt for the new moon in taurus okay which is connected to the earth to yeah to the earth and elementals of the earth which includes fairies if you work with fairy uh, or fey energy then that would this is an amazing time to do that or else this is talking about grounding yourself and also believing in that magic okay um it's interesting you got the submerged card along with isa because that is the rune of ice okay so like i said there is a lot happening beneath the surface and you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg so this is a period of action happening beneath the surface okay which is also the moon's energy it's very very interesting i hope i'm being able to articulate this prop properly so if you feel like there's not much happening that's not true okay there is a lot happening behind the curtain or beneath the surface just trust in that have faith build on your confidence on your um sense of self worth you deserve this okay and be bold take action wherever you are feeling called to take action all right um this is like a leo card and so is this message here to be bold all right let's take 
uh, a few cards for your relationship and love messages for the next 7 to 10 days. We have relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Okay. That could apply to some of you there. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. And at the bottom of the deck we have be willing to express love. I want to pull one card from uh, the Fae deck because you did get this um fairies energy here and i'm feeling called to pull one card from this deck for you okay <laughs> so we have the rune uh the not the rune sorry we have a card of the rar so this is uh pure potential it's very speedy it's quick it's fast moving energy which is a contrast to the rune of Isa and the submerged card but this is um, kind of unpredictable as well okay but what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling intuitively for you is this is talking about pure potential uh, you know it's uh, kind of similar to the energy that I spoke about in the beginning of your reading about the seed germinating this has pure potential whatever you are putting your hand into delving into um, if it's an opportunity an offer just grab it I would say okay and trust your intuition of course all right that's your reading group number two really interesting let me know if this resonates and uh, I'll see you again later God bless bye bye Hi group 3, for those of you who have chosen this uh, green shell here, let's take a look at your reading. I'm going to start with some runes first of all. I feel like it's this one. Okay, so this came up for a different group as well. You have Bakana. Looks like uh, this is uh, all in tandem with the new moon energy. Bakana is about new beginnings, about birth, uh, about fertility, something taking place beneath the surface. We have the rune of Lagus and we have the rune of Rido. Beautiful. So you're in the flow okay you're in the flow there's something that you are perhaps even starting and i'm hearing a new i don't know why maybe you're starting some you're restarting something and with the lagus card here this is talking about your psychic abilities about being in the flow about trusting your intuition um it's it's a watery energy so it's connected to the moon it's connected to your own intuition your feelings your emotions so really trust them i want to say okay and rido is about a journey okay this could be a physical journey it could be a metaphorical journey but either way there's a lot of movement here okay um both of these together are giving me a uh, a sense of of uh, movement forward okay of flow and there's definitely a new beginning a new start and this is a fertile time I, I would like to say to initiate something new as well because it is likely to take off okay uh, like I said this could be either a physical journey or it could be a metaphorical journey as in you're going through a transition a change and you're moving forward you're progressing in some way okay let's take a look at your Lenormand cards we have the tree <laughs> quite
quite the contrast because that's a very slow moving energy you have the snake and you have the sun okay beautiful so the sun is the most positive card in the deck there's um It's, what's interesting is that both of these together, the tree and the snake, are rather slow moving energies, okay? Don't be afraid of the snake, it's just, it is again talking about healing, about transition, about change, transformation, okay? And I feel like this is a period of even a spiritual awakening of some sorts. Um, I feel like you're changing as a person there's a lot of growth taking place as well okay uh, with the sun being here you're moving into the space of success prosperity um, good health if you have especially had challenges with your health in the recent past there will be a recovery period now that you're moving into okay and um, the sun is an overall amazing card to have it is all about success, prosperity, illumination as well. If there has been somebody that you have been dealing with who's been a bit, you know, uh, dishonest or who's been a bit challenging, then there could be a period now of, you know, resolution with that person. I want to get one card for this snake here. We have the heart. Yeah, so this could be someone close to you, okay? Someone you've had a challenging time with perhaps, but now with the sun being there, this is either coming to your uh, notice or this is something that you are seeing a resolution for. You've got the letter. And the coffin at the bottom of the deck yeah so this could be someone who has not been all that honest about you know maybe their feelings and things like that and this week there's a, a likelihood of this person expressing themselves for others of you I'm feeling that mm, you could be receiving uh, some message some communication that clears things up for you okay that is the purpose of the sun as well to illuminate and it helps you move forward in some way it helps you transition in some way okay also trust your intuition with whoever you're dealing with okay if you have a hunch that there's something going on beneath the surface then you are likely to be right okay let's see your other cards you have the nine of swords Queen of Swords, okay, the Five of Wands, hmm, wow, and the Death card, this is pretty, <laughs> okay, so you're getting to the bottom of things, okay, you're getting down to business you could say <laughs> that's the energy of the queen of swords all right uh not gonna die this could be a little bit challenging and it's quite possible that this is a completely different aspect of your life maybe this has to do with your career business finances and all of that and uh, this is a separate message okay but I was talking about transition, about movement, about um, change, transformation. That is what the death card and the snake actually stands for. Okay. I feel like you've become a lot wiser. You can see through a lot of bullshit. And you're moving out of a situation. And I'm also hearing doubts. Okay. You're moving into a space of clarity where you no longer have doubts about, you know, a specific person or a group setting or 
a specific issue or situation that has bothered you a lot i feel until now okay it may have given you sleepless nights you may still have some anxiety in connection to that but it is a clearing up it's a letting go process for you this 7 to 10 days and out of all of that i feel like you are creating space for a new beginning right very very important period of transition i feel and i do feel like you you may have learned a big spiritual lesson through this uh, connection situation this group setting whatever it may be and for some of you you're seeing through your own uh, you know how you ho- how you are your own worst enemy perhaps like the things that the inner conflicts that um come up for you okay you're seeing through all of that the queen of swords has this uh, sword of the truth um she's very very upfront and that sword of truths it, it cuts through all sort of emotional uh you know which she washes stuff that can get uh the better of us many a time and it's that absolute logical practical perspective that sometimes we need in order to move forward and perhaps let go of a situation that's been bothering us so i feel like that's what's happening for you this week is a strong strong uh, message here of clarity coming to you okay yeah you've got why number 31 and a change in the wind So this is all talking about a change happening okay for the better i want to say uh once these stripes have been blown away by the wind you'll be able to see things very clearly you know in a very black and white fashion as well uh getting down to the bottom of a situation a relationship uh your connection to a person and finding out what are their motivations especially if you've been dealing with somebody who's you know a bit two faced or something like that you're finding out this week you're seeing the the absolute truth of the situation the undeniable truth the uh clarity that you need is coming to you you're also seeing why certain things had to happen the way they did and how it has, it has helped you to transform to change as a person okay a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra and hold your vision fixed moon okay <laughs> it's funny how that just popped up a new romantic cycle begins but i'm getting more of a uh a libran energy in general which talks about you know give and take about justice about equality about fairness and if somebody is not being honest or not being fair then this is perhaps the time for you to accept that things do need to change okay but in general i feel like a new cycle is beginning in your life and you're being asked to have a very clear perspective with that air energy of the queen of swords to hold your vision to be very absolutely clear in your mind's eye in your third eye about where you want to head okay what you want what is not fitting anymore in your life what you need to clear out what you can take from this and um just being very very objective okay and yeah not getting distracted by anything in the periphery even if it is a bit chaotic right you've got first chakra archangel michael is here with you and community number 7 let's see your guidance cards as well you have communion eagle and you have grounding 
all right so both of these cards are actually quite connected first chakra or your base chakra is connected to everything that makes you feel safe and stable everything that gives you a sense of grounding that makes you feel in a way at home in the universe uh, that gives you that sense of stability okay standing on your own two feet um, and it's also interestingly connected with uh, your sense of belonging you know your place in the universe in a community in your family for instance so there could be some connection here to people in your life who are probably not being completely honest with you who are part of your community but you are probably receiving signs you are getting uh, hints from the divine the universe whoever you connect with um that maybe you ought to cut off some people okay that's what archangel michael is also kind of known for he is um his energy is really good to work with if you want to cut cords with people with a situation or anything that you feel is threatening you is harming you in some way so i won't lie it seems like it's a bit of an upheaval in the next 7 to 10 days you could be facing opposition from people but you it's all happening for <laughs> the best okay because the truth cannot be hidden for too long and there's some truths that you are definitely seeing very very clearly um this next 7 to 10 days you're finding something out and it's actually ushering in a new beginning a new cycle for you okay so you're being asked to work on grounding yourself and i'm also getting a strong feeling here that this has something to do with family with lineage you've got the tree twice the tree in the norman is also connected to legacy okay your family um so there could be a strong emphasis here on your community your tribe are they there could be some changes happening in that um you may be facing some opposition but i feel like you'll be able to stand your ground all right with the queen of swords there you're good to go um that's what i'm feeling all right let's get some relationship and love oriented cards for you <laughs> interesting let's get one more all right so you have practice compassion see things from a fresh perspective and you have been the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible at the bottom of the deck we have the union of hearts a love connection defies explanation so just to wrap up there's a lot of emphasis here on relationships on your tribe you uh, before you can practice compassion with somebody else be compassionate towards yourself as well okay i do want to say that you are protected you are being guided if you can if you do work with the energy of archangel michael if you feel a bit threatened it's um you can always call upon you know uh him or any other energy that you work with um it is uh possibly a little bit uncomfortable um for you to go through the period of transition of change but transformation is never easy but it's worth it so i do feel like you're finding out a lot of things a lot of truths are coming to light things are being illuminated and this has something um for 99% of you uh 
uh, it has something to do with your family, your tribe, your personal relations, people who are close to you. You're discovering, you know, what the truth is. Um, and it's all actually being shown to you right now for a reason. Um, to bring in this new beginning. But hold your vision and uh, dream big, okay? Don't, don't let all of this that's happening in your environment affect you at... Uh, affect you so much that you can't you know make sense of things remember with the queen of swords hold your vision and be very clear about what you want what you accept and what you don't all right so that's your reading group number three i hope this helps and uh, all the very best for the next seven to ten days and in general um yeah Hold your head high, okay? I will see you again later. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.